Welcome back to more Rune Factory 5, everybody. So in the last episode, we ended up making some more parts with some quests and stuff, which is pretty good. Red Grass, that's a new item, I believe. Um, in this video, I'm actually going to start by going, I think I'm just going to head to the forest over here and try to do some stuff. Not really sure what, um, because we haven't really been able to make stuff yet, and it's primarily because I think we actually have to defeat some monsters first. I'm pretty sure. So, we'll have to see here what we can do. Like, we defeated all these really early ones. I don't really need to fight those enemies, I don't think. But there could be some over here. What are these? Oh, these are the cluckadoodles. Yeah, they, these are fine. Short sword level also creates a nice charge attacks. Hold on the B button before. Oh, yeah. I remember that. Don't they use, um, I, I believe it's special abilities, abilities use like RP. Right. I'm pretty sure they do. Those are bran oh, yeah, branches, okay. Oh, uh, let's see here. I wonder what these are going to give me. Buff a moon. Because right now I'm trying to actually farm and see what, um what items these various enemies would actually give and drop. These aren't too bad though, I just kind of, you know... Oh, I got a level up. That's pretty good. Because uh, it is important to know, you know, to um... over time start memorizing what um, enemies drop what items so you can actually make those particular items. Like, these haven't actually dropped anything yet, though. So right now, my goal is to make a stronger short sword. Hmm. Nothing there, though. Yeah, see, those are... I don't really care about those. They're just, like, insects and stuff. Orc Archer. Here's a treasure. We'll take this. All right. All right. Yes. Got some recovery potions from that. Let's go this way. Time Worn Caverns. Oh wow. Okay, we'll do. Uh, we'll do this here. Amethyst. Okay, we'll take that. Sure. And let's see what else we got over here. We have... That's just a rock. Okay. Nice. And this is just antidote grass. Well, that's it for that. I, I can fish there. Wait, here's more of it. Oh, I think it was a different color. I don't really care about fishing right now, though, to be honest. I'm just going to ignore that. I don't really think it's a big deal. To do it at the moment. Uh, we are going to head this way and see what we can find. Chip squeak. That is not what I wanted to have. These are weaker enemies. No, 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 you're not going to get me. Yeah, so I've kind of noticed that enemies um, don't really drop items in this game that much. It's, it's incredibly rare. Why are y'all running away from me? Like, seriously, tell me how many times you've actually seen enemies drop stuff. It's like really rare. Like, incredibly rare. There's a branch. We got more medicinal herb. Okay. The hell? Fake turnip. That's an interesting one. Turnip seed. Oh. That would actually give me something. That's okay. Oh shit, we're not going up there now. 
What is over here? Oh boy. What? Camera kind of was spazzing out there, man. I know I'm actually missing. Yes! Trying to get that stuff. That was a recipe right there. Okay. Oh my god, the freaking camera is freaking bad sometimes. Oh no. What did, what did you drop? I can't really tell. We're just going to keep moving and see what we can find. Kind of just exploring, you know? Flower Blossom. Yeah, see, I haven't really found any, like, uh, fang-like items, I don't think, and I need those if I want to make stronger... Would these work? Insect Jaw. I don't think those would work. I'm pretty sure they wouldn't. But, I could be wrong, you know? Whoa, we didn't lock up the wrong one there. Yeah, see, no items again. I don't know, because like, compared to Rune Factory 4, like, I feel like the drop rate is immensely different. Because in Rune Factory 4, drop rates would be pretty common. Now, getting rare drops would be very difficult, yes, regardless, but... That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about just any drop in general. Enemies are not dropping stuff in this game. They're just not doing it. Which I do find kind of strange. Hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely going, like, really far now. Oh, look, here are the goblins, finally. Because remember, I couldn't find those freaking goblin archers, or whatever. Orc archers. Hmm. Griffin. Yeah, as you can see, I'm definitely getting way ahead of myself over here, but it's, it's kind of nice to explore just so you are getting a little sneak peek here, you know, in case you... I mean, by this point, the game's already been out for like a day or a day and a half. So if you've been playing non-stop, like, you know, more than 40 minutes a day, then you are easily going to catch up to me. But... So, what the hell? Dining Tower. That's a spell. And this is a save point. I wonder if these are actually, uh, are these fast travels? Hopefully they are. I don't think they are, but... It's cool that it's here. Yeah, like, I'm trying to figure out how to unlock more, um, fast travels in this game. Yeah, it, it won't let me go in there. I think it's a, it's a story-based thing. I have to go there later in the game once the story takes me there. But for now, there's not a whole lot I can do. And I didn't find the little pixie enemies once again, even though it's saying that it's in the central location. But as you kind of already saw with evidence, we're not really seeing anything. It's over here. Insect carapace. Nothing else really over here, okay. Here we got more uh, herbs, we'll take the herbs. Those are a different type of herbs. And then there's this way, which is going to... This one's going to lead back. Well, you know... Orc Archer. I mean, these are like really, you know, really, really early. Yes. 
Got some... Oh, I think that was a bread. What? We can actually go ahead and try and eat. We're already out of space as well, I, I think. That's fur. And these are just orcs again. That one dropped something. Right. Cheap cloth. Okay. Oh wow, I took six damage. That's crazy. Yeah, so these guys dropped fur, I think. Which isn't too, you know. It's not too crazy. Whoa, what the hell? That's just a branch which I don't care for. Fur. I'll leave the branch there. I think it's fine. That's orc hunters. Nope, we're not fighting those. Big muck? See, I feel like these wouldn't... No, these aren't ones I'm looking for either. What is that one? Uh, nothing there, no. Oh my god, they actually almost hit me. Here's a treasure, we'll take the treasure. Oh my god, it actually almost hit me too. Random stumps? Goblins? More goblins? Okay, so I think we've explored enough here. I mean, I guess I can hit the... Actually, I don't know. Where am I? Yeah, I'm pretty up there. We're gonna, um, we can use our RP here and just, uh, switch to this. Did that thing really see me? Oh, wait, no, no, it didn't. Okay, it's running away. I really thought it actually saw me. It looked like it did. I'm turning my camera just in case. <laughs> nice. All right. Getting some skill ups too, which is really good. Okay, I think we're done with that. I don't really see anything else to do here. So I feel we're good to, to leave, to warp back. So... If I didn't get anything related to... Like... Oh man, to like fangs and stuff, then I'm gonna actually have to start googling stuff. The game has been out for like about a day or two now. So walkthroughs are going to start going ahead and putting up their list now online. Of like, you know... Just list of items, farming, all that good stuff, you know? So it's going to be important for me to do research while playing this so I can actually give you all a proper walkthrough because the last thing I want to do is kind of just be playing aimlessly every single episode. You know, that's definitely not quality-like. Just wasting my time for all of you. How's, how's the soil actually looking? Okay, we're good. Because there's lots of that left. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Nice. Yes. Just keep leveling nice. up everything. Nice. All right. Running out of stamina. Nice. We're good though, we're good. So it's five. Oh, what the hell? I don't have it. Okay, okay, hold on. 8143. Whoa, that was a lot of stuff. Okay, we'll take all this again. You can just dump that in there. 
Yeah, so we should actually start buying... Oh, I think it's a little too late now, though. I'm, I'm pretty sure, because don't all these shops close at, like... They close by, like, a certain time. Okay, what's the shop again? Oh, God. I wish I remembered. Is it that one? I'm actually not sure. Oh, shit. I have to start memorizing all these services. But again, I, I think these businesses close at 5? I'm pretty sure. So it might, might be too late for today, but... I suppose it's fine if that actually happens. For today, at least. What? No, no, I meant this. Oh, no, actually, no. Wait, that that's... That's a different shop, that's not what I was looking for. Right? I don't think that's the one. Actually? Let's check it out. We have to start just seeing what is going to be available in each shop. I know they're going to give me a little brief tutorial in the beginning, but that's... Not enough, you know? Okay. Oh, what it was that one. Okay, perfect. Yes, I know, I know. Okay. Recipe bread, please. One left today? Cooking bread. 400? Really? Oh, shit. That's actually... Isn't that kind of expensive? Oh, man. Welcome. Bread, that, okay. Dumplings, onigiri, okay. Thanks. Come again. Alright, well, anyway, what you should be doing every single day, if it's just like every other Rune Factory game, is you should be eating that bread every single day. Um, the main reason why... Wait, where is it? This one? The main reason why is because you'll actually be able to learn new stuff like this. Bamboo rice. Gary, cool. Yeah, so but but every single day that like there is a limit on how many how much bread you can actually eat. That is eventually how you learn additional like you know like like weapons, armor recipes, all that stuff. Because it will be things like weapon bread eventually. But anyway, let's go. I'm gonna go upstairs. And actually, I'm thinking of just putting everything outside. Because I feel like I'm just going to be spending time outdoors more anyway, instead of having to go back in here every time. But... Anyway, let's see what we can make here. Okay, we do actually have that. Oh, okay, it's the, so what work was the insect jaw. I see. So we can make that one. What is this? Bronze. That's interesting. So for now, though, we can we can upgrade to this, which I feel is a very good upgrade to be going for. This is just uh, minerals. I don't think the, that the scrap would work. RP costs thirty-three. Yeah, forty-seven. We'll, we'll do it. And that's how it works. Now we have a steel sword, so now we can basically come into our equipment. This thing is attack plus 5, so it's actually a massive upgrade. Look at that. Wait, not that, sorry. That. And just like that, our attack is now 29, which is a huge upgrade, like an amazing upgrade. And that's generally how it works. Um, the forge can also make you farm tools, which is really neat. But we don't actually have any of that yet, so that's going to have to be for later. But we are going to have to actually buy more more stuff, you know? Now, I think what we're going to do here is just... Uh... God, you can examine the bed from that far. Uh, I think we'll just call it a day for now, I think. I think we're good. I do have to clean up my inventory a lot, though. So I should definitely do it right now. 
Got a skill up, okay. We're gonna look inside and see what we can actually dump in there. Um... Okay, maybe I should get rid of the freaking... I don't even know. I don't even know. How much space do I have for the storage box? Already a lot. Okay, that's that's good. Stick? I know you're gonna want sticks eventually. So all this stuff here, I can actually sell it because I don't... Well, no, no I can actually use it to upgrade. It, 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 it's kind of good to do that. So we'll do that. We have a brush, and I don't know how much I'm going to use it at the moment. Maybe I want to save inventory space for that. Scrap metal. Turnip seed of black grass. That. So we also have these things, which are, um... I typically sell them for money. Is that carapace? Yeah, like recipes. I don't know. And there's raisin bread. Huh, they sell for pretty decent. Cheap cloth, more fur. That can be for cooking. Yeah, I don't know what to do with the mushrooms yet, but we'll, we'll see. So the other thing you can do, you can go, you can upgrade a weapon. If you upgrade a weapon, you can use, so for example, the one that you want to do is if I choose, let's say... Well, you have to unequip it? Seriously? That's kind of dumb. If you put... No, I don't want to do an upgrade item. I, I don't remember yet having to actually do this, but... We'll remove that. We're going to do upgrade. And then we'll do, okay, so this one, uh, that's not the one. This is the, the good one, so we're going to put upgrade item there. Then we can put like, no, that's not you. Go like that. RP cost is 10. So basically with that, it'll be a level 2. Um, there isn't too much, like, I don't want to talk too much about this yet because it's not, I mean, I, I might get some levels from this, which is good to do that sometimes. But, yeah, like this, we'll just put it there, that one's 26. And you can get level ups from that, which is, you know, again, it's good to, to have that, I would say. Anything else? Cheap pole? I don't think I want that either. When did I get this stuff? I have no idea. I think that's about it for now. Got some skill up, as you can see. That's good. Okay, now we can go ahead and leave. Oh, so that was most of our RP for now. That's what is kind of bad about that. Sometimes these things do consume a lot of RP, unfortunately. Uh, now here we're gonna... Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. What the hell? I pressed the wrong button there. Uh, we're going to go with... I'm gonna take these turnips, put that in there. Get rid of these branches. I'm gonna put the mushrooms in there too. I mean, they're definitely not a lot of money, but I think it's fine. Here's an apple. We'll get rid of that too. And then here's these recipe things. So... I don't know if this was the game where, um... If you eat, you get the effect. No, that, that's definitely not the one. These actually heal you a lot. Yeah, all these effects, by the way, they're all temporary. In case you were wondering, they are actually temporary. RP plus 12, RP plus 30. Yeah, so like, for example, if you do this, I'm gonna eat this. You get skulls for eating, which is good, but it, usually it's not worth it, I would say, to do that. I think it makes a lot of sense to sell the stuff to make a lot of money from it. That's how on Rune Factory 4 Special I would be making a bunch of money. By essentially just doing that, you know? Um, I'll go ahead and put those in there. Sure. Okay. 
Next up, I need to... Okay, well, we're gonna water, obviously. There we go. Watering time. Out of water. Oh, Oops, nice. next one. Go big and strong, okay? Go big and strong, okay? Go big and strong, go big and strong, okay? We do still have RP left. Go big and strong, okay? We're running out though. Okay, perfect. And now we're gonna do. I think we'll equip that. How much does that consume? Not too much. I think we're fine. There you go. There you go. Okay. And equip that. Watering time. Watering time. Perfect. And we did all that. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna have to leave the other stuff there because we don't have any RP left. Unfortunately, but now what we can do is, oh yeah, I should actually equip the, uh, my bad. What the hell? Okay, we're gonna go like this, equip. Perfect. Uh, let me go to, so it's only 7 a.m. Bunch of these story, oh wait, wait a minute, hold on, I should actually advance the story. There's a story scene over here. Let's go do it. Task board. There's a task board here too? I didn't even think about that. I beg of you, teach me your ways. You want to become a great detective just like you, Terry. Huh? Who's great? I literally just opened my doors. Don't be modest. For as long as I can remember, I've watched you unravel one reel after another. I won't move into this spot until you make me your Come apprentice. On. Really? This is going nowhere fast. Whoa. Great timing, back me up hey. on this. There's no glory in being a private eye. Take up a trade and go into a real apprenticeship like Martin. No way. I want to become a detective and, and find our parents. Huh. So that's it. <sighs> really? <laughs> okay. You won't regret it. Oh well. See about that. Okay, well that was random. Hmm. I guess it can go. Actually, I'm mean, already here. Might as well like try and give you something, right? Actually, I already got rid of everything. I'll talk to you though. Festival's coming up tomorrow. Yeah, because yeah, I've been trying to get everybody to uh, level one for friendship, but it's even that's kind of a little time consuming because it, there's a lot of people, you know. Still, though, it wouldn't be uh, or sorry, it would be a good idea to. Basically, just forage all this stuff. There's stuff here, too. All these are actually different, like, really? These are all the same. We'll take that one. Alright, well, let's see here. So, there are people over here. Just gonna start giving you all items, whoever I see. There, take that. And there's you. We are gonna go ahead and just give you one of these, I guess. Boy, am I tired. Hey, quit treating me like a kid. There we go. That's everybody for now. Uh, let me check the. Uh, what hours are these? 12 p.m. to 9 p.m. That's right. That's actually pretty far from now, so I think what I'm gonna do is just go over to. Already pretty close, I think. I, I can just run over there. So I wanna compare the damage that I do now with the sword to just kinda see how much attack I have now with this. We can start with the weaker ones like these thingies. Okay, look at that, see? 
huge difference. And now these really weak enemies are actually literally really pathetically easy. Because I do remember this, Rune Factory games are kind of like that, like that. Just one like little upgrade of a sword or a web or a, like a shield or something will actually make you go so far. I'm not saying we can explore everything that we definitely cannot. Don't, you know, don't, trust me, we can't. But we can at least deal with a bunch of these enemies much easier now because we can do so much more damage now. Okay, I think we'll just go... What's over here? Whoa, there's a lot of stuff here. What? What was that? Just a branch? You know what? We're throwing this. We're throwing this again. We're throwing it again. Give me a, give me a level up. I want to level up. Or a skill up, I should say. There's an item there. Cheap cloth. Let's make our way over here. These are just more branches? I don't really care for that. Well, we're actually not even getting the skill up. I wonder why. Did I really level it up that much already? Wow. That still sounds red. I don't I don't want to fight those guys. Wonder what stuff these guys will actually give me. Uh, no items there. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Oh, what the hell? He's actually. I think they're a little bit stronger because despite having a better sword. Those things actually just took the damage. I mean, their color is appearing as yellow, so that, that is an indicator that, hey, you gotta be careful about right. this, you know? All right. So are these, yeah. I'm gonna hit that to get some RP. And then, this is where I was before. Here's a box this time. Oh, okay. Well, we'll take it. There's some more stumps there, but we're just gonna... Yeah, we want to explore other stuff. We're just gonna run through here. That's just a branch. Okay. Oh my god. Buffalo. Purple grass? Why do they all look blue? Hmm. They almost all look like the same color. Maybe my TV's color is just weird. Yeah, see, we are definitely in some uncharted territory over here. Oh my god. Okay, where am I? Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty far. It actually is pretty far. Probably gonna turn back a little bit. Um, I have to figure out where I'm gonna get bronze, though. So if I can get bronze, I can get another stronger weapon already. Which would be nice. Oh, look at that. Got a, ooh, more nice little recipes, okay. Uh, let's see. Here's a save point. I mean, I guess we'll take it, sure. Whoops, got to overwrite. Oh my god, you probably hear the sirens in the background. That's really funny. It's crazy.
There's a bunch of items over here, probably just grass. I mean, grass is the most common item in the game. Those appear as... well, okay. They're orange. Yeah, but as you can see, I'm not seeing any freaking pixies or anything like that. I don't really know what the hell the game is talking about when it comes to that. That, that, they're, that they're somewhere in the central area, like whatever that means, you know? Get them all, get them all, there we go. Uh, no drops? Oh, actually, yes, this. A pretty carapace. Okay, that's... Something new. Here we got some more, uh, some more bugs. And nothing else from here, okay. Let's go this way. Yeah, because here we went on the other side of the cave away. I don't think we explored this side. If there even is anything over here, there probably is not. There is not. There is nothing over here. Yeah, there's just that, and... That kind of... I don't know, like, that's kind of it for, you know... What we're working with here, you know? In, in our... In our nice little world. At least for now. Oh, shoot. Should I actually be careful with that? I don't know what these bugs actually give me because I haven't bought too many to be able to see what drops they, they give. Unless they also get the carapace item it, it is possible. Okay, these are appearing as no. No, what, what, what are you doing? Run, run, run. It's saying they're orange, not red, yet they're still taking zero damage from me. <laughs> I don't understand that logic at all. Okay, now these enemies, I have not had any luck at all on a single drop. What is that? Milk. That's their drop. Milk? Well, that's not actually too appealing, I'll say. Yeah, there's more milk. Milk small. And that about covers most of the, the world for what we can do for now. We'll fight these guys. I don't think we fought too many of these uh, cluckadoodles. And then all of this is just back to the beginning. Okay. We did a nice little sweep just to kind of see what we're working with. I will say by this point, um, now that you've kind of, like, like, now that you've kind of seen where all these enemies are and what we, you know, what we're fighting, if I ever have to grind for specific items from enemies I've already fought, usually I'll do it off screen, just to save you all some time. Like, if I have to do some little mini grinding session or something, so be it, you know, I'll just do it off screen. I don't know if I should be going back in the dungeon again, I mean, I suppose it's a nice idea to maybe try it, but... I also know I don't really have to. At least not yet. More grass here. Yeah, no, because the big thing that I want to do is go back into the town so I can make some purchases. There's like a, a cutscene over there. Hmm. 
Yeah, we're at 40 minutes, but I think we can still do all this. So basically, okay, we want to do a couple things. We have to buy some of this furniture, if we have the materials, of course, to do it. That's the first thing we actually have to check. So let's, uh, so let's take a look. Wait, this is not the place. What am I doing? What is wrong with me, man? I don't know why I went in there. I have no clue. Am I gonna go through a really long loading screen? Okay, what we want- what the hell? Where are you running? What we want to do is go this way. You're a brilliant ball of sunshine okay, let's see what you got. Today's your birthday. Oh, in that case... I'll give you this. Okay, that's four. See, the valley still says four. Okay, that, that, that's that, that number is not um, friendship. It's actually just um, the game is assuming you're like in combat with them, like they're helping you. I think so. Don't think that that's like friendship points going up. I, I don't think it is. Anyway, um, I'll send it to my house. Let's see what we got. So we are gonna need a chemistry set eventually. We have the forge. I do believe we need a crafting table. Cooking table, knife. So, okay, we have a cooking table. We don't have an... We basically don't have, ever, like, anything here. Except... Yes, except... All we have is the forge and the cooking table. We're gonna make a crafting table because I believe this is for armor, if I am not mistaken. Let, let's see. And a few things you didn't. Okay. Then what we're also going to do is... Can we get the chemistry set? I'll have to carry it myself though because I already sent one to the house. Ooh, we're actually a little short on that. Uh, are you serious? We're, we're one? We're one short? Are you kidding me? No way. You can't be serious. You can't be serious, game. How dare you? How dare you? Okay, well, we're gonna go over here and trigger this cutscene. <coughs> oh god. Sorry about that. How can you be so calm, Mr. Sagi? Because Hina's only a little girl. These things just happen. Hey, you two, what's going on? Oh, oh shiny. Well, you see, it sounds as though Hina has a little crush on someone. Say what? She does? More and more these days, I've seen her lost in thought, and she'll suddenly burst out laughing, as if recalling a happy memory. Julian, perhaps you feel jealous? Whoa. Yeah, right. It's so obvious the fact that this guy just wants to fight her and beat her up. It's always that, you know, thing like, oh, like, like, you pretend to hate somebody, you know, but that means you actually like them. So it's one of the weirdest things about human beings' emotions. I don't freaking get it. Want to follow her? Well, I guess. Whatever you say, Julian. Yeah, we both know. We're, we're both not stupid. But we, we know. We know, Julian. And we get that you're young and you don't want to tell us and admit it. Are you here? All I'm saying is, in Ru by Rune Factory 6, there's going to be a character who is the baby of both of them. I'm just saying, okay? I'm just saying. That's going to take place in the future, like 20 years from now, you know? Uh, Whatever we're saying out here. Let's try sneaking in so they won't notice us. Time to be sneaky. Maybe we should go. Let's be <laughs> sneaky. Now you're talking. Quite the adventure. Yeah, I suppose so. We just, we know, we're just all up in everybody's business, seriously. They sure seem excited about something, but I can't hear what they're saying. And I love... Did Hina just tell Palmo she loved him? Oh, my sweet girl. Could Hina have a crush on Pal... Oh, my God. No way. I'm the one who... What the heck? No, they can't be. Julian? Really? 
Hey, Hina. Just what are you doing here, huh? Julian, oh, it's shiny, and Mommy are here, too. Shocking surprise, how long have the three of you been there? Not now, Hina. Do you love Palmo? Huh? Well, that was blunt. <laughs> love him? What do you mean? I mean exactly what I said. Well, my dear boy, sees and desist. desist. Surely it's a matter of misunderstanding has taken place. Misunderstanding? This is what I love. Uh, is this a castle made entirely of candy? Yeah, I saw it in the picture book and Pelma made it for me. Wow, it looks just like a real castle. Am I the only one who wants to take a big bite out of it? Behold, my confectionery creation. Elster provided the ingredients and I spare no effort in erecting the edible edifice of excellence. I just love this candy castle you made for me. Oh my. You do? Oh my, so this castle is what inspired to say those words. Uh-huh, but it'll fall apart if you touch it, so, so I just came here to look at it. What the heck? You can't use that word to describe something like this. Jeez, I'm going to worry so much. Why were you worried? Because you thought you liked someone. He did? What? Zip it, Misasagi. <laughs> no, not at all. <sighs> Looks like it was all just a misunderstanding. I'm going to go home. Way to go, Julian. You ruined everything. Alright. Gotta just head out. See you later, Hina. Me? Like someone? Huh? What's that smell on Hina's face? See ya. Yep. I'm telling you all, Rune Factory 6, you're gonna get that offspring once they're adults, you know? And they, they do that. Okay, anyway. Um. We can. Why are we back here? I, I just bought your stuff, man. Oh, that was a very fast loading screen. Okay, so now we're gonna go over here so we can buy some bread. And again, you should get into the habit of doing this every single day. You should be coming over here and buying bread. Very important to do so. I mean it. Recipe bread, please. One. Only cooking bread still. I wonder how I get more of this. Because, I mean, I'm upping my forge. I don't know. We'll have to see. Well, let's eat it. See what we find. What we get. What, what, what am I doing? Where is it? Right here. This one. We're going to eat. Oh, man. Okay, well, that does happen sometimes. You will actually have bread that in, in which you can't learn more stuff, but... That doesn't mean that you probably shouldn't be buying the bread still. Like, you can still buy the bread. Just keep it, like, stored in something, you know? Okay, so... Now what we're going to do... Are there any more stuff here? No, there are not. Okay, we're going to... Coming here, and I feel like I actually should start moving this stuff outside. We're gonna, we're gonna, no, 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 what, what? Of course not. Did I accidentally press that? Oh, I think, yeah, I accidentally moved one more down. My bad on that. Okay, right, so we're almost out of time for this video. We're actually up to 49 minutes already. That's, that's pretty crazy. Uh, where should we actually put this stuff? Because. I can actually put all this stuff, like, close by next to each other, I guess. Because I'm going to need a wide open space, and the closest place might actually be to, like, use this area. People were actually telling me in the comments, like, just use this farm area, you know? See, I think in the other Rune Factory games, if you pick up stuff that has stuff in it, I believe everything on it is going to fall. Which was so freaking stupid. Like, what in the world? That was so dumb. I'm gonna end the video here. Next time we are going to... Yep, look at that stuff. I'll talk about this thing later in the next video. So, before I end this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoy the video. I will see you all later. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day.